Hello. So I wanna just have a stream here. I have to just be streaming right now. Yeah. There's something I wanna show here. Now uh I'm I'm sorry, I have to say something about this because I just read this thing thing again, you know, read this thing again. Now I just re re randomly read some some thread on the internet, you know. The first thing is about Linux, Linux, Linux is everywhere, whatever. It's just Linux patches security vulnerabilities very fast. I don't care that part. But first they are talking about Log4j, right? Log4j is not memory safety bug, right? They are saying, oh, but Log4j is a huge issue. It's in Java, the issues with Java. But that, then they start to say Rust. I don't, I, I don't know, you know. The log 4 j and Rust, you know, what what does anything has what, what does anything to do with Java with with Rust? Nothing, right? They are basically even this is even the thing. Rust is safer than Java, right? Okay, let's just ignore that part. I want to read that part. I find it just quite in, quite ridiculous here. You know, real Lovic. You know, I I talked about real Lovic before, right? He is a basically. It just he just using this all sorts of wrong things to say anything just to just to blame C and C and C plus plus. That's what he did. Of course, he is not the worst one. Right? He is one of the Rust language developer, and they even told you is advocate. And they said Rust is completely memory safe, completely memory safe. Okay, completely memory safe. No, 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 no. Rust is not completely memory safe, right? How could you tell me Rust is completely memory safe? If you're telling me Rust is completely memory safe, then where are these security vulnerabilities come from? Right? Or where are the security vulnerabilities come from, right? You have so many user free, double free. You you, you told me is completely, right? But you have a lot of user free, double free. And so, some some security vulnerabilities are even so. Oh, this is not GCC. I, I don't care. But here, look at this. Okay. Right. I I think I did talk this security vulnerability before. I, probably not in the YouTube on the YouTube. Yeah, I try to be polite about this, but now you know this is real world Rust code. They told us just it's. It's too safe, but the, when they run sanitizers, even just running sanitizers for simple reason, just run sanitizers, you get crashed. Okay, you just get crashed. You know? Even C plus plus doesn't do that, right? You, you see all these modern C, the C plus plus projects, or even C projects nowadays, they always use sanitizers, right? Even my projects use sanitizers. Now here you have the Rust projects, just run sanitizers get crashed. It's just. <laughs> It's it's so ridiculous, you know, it's so ridiculous. You just get a sanitizer crash. But here you have these advocates like Ross saying saying it's completely memory safe. Okay, it's completely memory safe. Okay. Let's just check those facts. I and I can't find those interests are quite interesting. Okay. Following the thing here, Alice Gainer and whatever, what is Geoffrey Thomas? Okay, whatever. I think I did talk about Alice Gainer before, but you know they they don't say he is a, a Linux kernel developers. He is a Linux kernel developers, you know. So <coughs> I, I I love this part. Okay, so let, let's just go to the I think I think Alex Gainer. Is in this repository, okay? Let's just see. Did he ha ever have? A, has he ever just commit anything before that? Okay, this is basically merging code from the upstream. I th uh. Let me let me see. No, he not here. Right, he's not even merging. He, he's mostly not merging code. The code, code who write are mostly other people, right? 
how could you say he is a Rust language? He, he, how, how, how is he a a Rust kernel developer, a, a Linux kernel developer? If you ask Linus Torvald, is 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 Alex Skinner a kernel developer? He will just laugh at you, right? He will just laugh at you, and they are saying he is an. A, Ross, let, let, let me let me just find. You know, I cannot even find where where did he put here. No, right? I cannot even find his account anymore. Right. Now he is saying these people are saying he's a Linux kernel developer. But everything he did, like I mentioned before, he just to bitch C and C plus plus. Right? Just how bad C and C plus is. C plus plus killed their mom. Right. So, um, I just go go to the link. Okay, here go to the link. I just we just trace back all the links here. What are you gonna see with it? Okay, so the link is here. Right, it is basically old lies we've been told again and again, 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 again. Right. Now I can't find it interesting first. They're saying Chrome has only forty nine percent of security vulnerabilities are. CV as memory safety bugs, but they, before they said it was around seventy percent, ninety percent of security vulnerabilities are because of using memories is memory safety bug. Now they are saying it's forty nine. The data is quite arbitrary. They just randomly change data, right? You just just plainly lie, right? Just plainly lie. You how do you say, tell me now it's forty nine percent? You 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 said it was seventy percent, and. What why and the, what about Firefox? Firefox why Firefox is seventy two percent. Wasn't some part of Firefox being re re rewritten in Rust? But why still seventy per seventy per two percent of security vulnerabilities are a memory a memory safety bug. This data is just even not in not even consistent, right? This the data is just makes no sense, right? Now you might say it's blocks are fluctuating, but how could you say it's just fluctuating from seventy five percent to forty forty five percent in twenty nineteen? I don't know. I I don't know. I honestly don't know how they are doing the statistics here. Now, the Firefox. Uh, Firefox. You think Firefox doesn't have raw security vulnerabilities that's taken part of it? Go and read the security vulnerabilities. Tons of them. In the Firefox are Rust because of, of using the Rust code. Did I think I showed that before? I don't. I don't want to show it again. You can all watch my previous videos. But kernel space. How 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 is Android and Ubuntu kernel space? It's not kernel, right? Android and and Ubuntu are not kernel. Right, Linux. That's that's just Linux distribution. How is that kernel? Kernel is just written in the Linux kernel. Those parts are not kernel. Okay, so root cause is all. You know, they blame all security vulnerabilities are C and C process always, right? Now, before they are saying it's Java's problem, now they are blaming C and C process. Even in this thread, in this post, has nothing to do with C and C process in the first place. But they're gonna blame C and C process for everything. I I I think I we don't need to read those things. Eh? Um, whatever. Hey, they 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 they, they think it's good. You know, they think it's good. Good. Okay. I guess this is a thunder thunder box here. You cannot just put an unsafe on on thing, right? You just don't read the code. Just code is too bad. Just unsafe Ross is too bad. Just terribly bad. Okay. Let's just ignore this part. How? Uh, they truly believe this. That the code is good. You know, they truly believe that. that they just. I. Uh, I don't don't care about that. I don't care about that. But I want to see see what what other shit they are doing. Okay. This is to show the mod. I I even showed that module in Fast.io, right? Even Fast.io has a Linux kernel module I showed before. 
Now, of course, they're gonna just blaming C++ again for modern C++ won't save us. Now, he is... <laughs> ah. let, 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 let me just... I, I want well, just read those code. I read, read, read those things. I just want to show <laughs> modern C++. Yeah. Now, I, I, I think I show that I have an entire video to show how how wrong that thing is, right? You can go back to watch the video, right? Particularly this part, okay? No bounce, the, 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 the no bounce checking part. <laughs> no bounce checking part. Now, right, the, the, the no bounce checking part. Nobody say that. Nobody say that. Okay. Nobody say you are not allowed to check bounds, right? It's just plainly lie. It's just plainly lie, right? In fact, I, I showed that video why why you need to put glibc xx assertions here. Is that it? It just has bound checking. How do you say it's not? Let's just go back. Go to the leaves to C plus plus to see the source code of span, right? So see what, what how span is written. Now we'll go STD. I guess those people don't even know where the, 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 the file is located in the, in the GC source repository. Okay, let's just go to the operator. Okay, look, look here, look here okay. You, tell, you told me it's no bound checking? Dude, you have no idea what you're even talking about here. And, and the fact is that C doesn't even allow you to get it wrong. Or unless you use pointers, right? Pointers you can always get it wrong. But in general, you don't have, you cannot have these or, or go go around with span anymore. It is always valid, right? It's it's always check bound as long as you want. Unlike Rust, you can still use the unsafe to get rid of the bound checking. Which one is safer in that case? This plainly lie. Let's just plainly lie, right? Because even back from they all check with bound. I I just show you the source code, right? If you think I'm wrong, you can just check source code, right? There's a lot of checks, and just not just one check, a lot of checks, right? In fact, it's even enabled in, in the Fedora by default. I, I've said that uh, times and times again, because these people love to repeat those lies times and times again, right? And you can go, go watch my, my previous video here, okay, if you want, but in general, it's bad. It's it's just bad, and right, and and quite funny. You, you, he doesn't even commit anything to the Linux kernel. I I believe, right? Unless unless you show you show something here, show show the evidence here. He said he is ha adding commit anything to the Linux kernel. No, he didn't. Right? He he never commit code to Linux kernel. How is he a Linux kernel developer? How is Alex Gainer a Linux kernel developer? You just you don't you don't even have the kind of thing. Not not they are going to say the Rust for Linux project. <laughs> we we heard it for a long, very long time. I right. It is so bad as the situation right now. It's so bad as the situation right now. Right. Because none of the code are just could get a comedian. I don't believe there's any code Alex Gainer has ever committed, right? Even if you commit one code, even you just commit once, can, can, is this possible to say, I just commit once, co commit one code to Linux kernel, does that make you a Linux kernel developer? Of course not, they have millions, right? How many co commits they have? Millions, a million commits, right? You just commit once. Now you are saying you are a Linux kernel developer? I don't even think he has any commit here. No, right? I, I, tell me how, how can I search from him? I guess I, we can find where his GitHub is located. Now let, let's just see any commits he had, he did to the Linux kernel. What, what commits he did? Okay, now everything he wrote is Rust code, right? He doesn't write C code, right? How do you tell me you are a Linux kernel developer 
when you don't even write any C code. All your C, all your C code are just <laughs> forked from other people, right? You go here and see that here everything he knows is just rust, right? Everything he did is rust. Just uh, I, I believe he is even just fork other people's rust code. Just like just like Ryan Lovick, he those people just don't even write the Rust code, but tell you Rust is good. You know they don't write code, they don't write code, but saying what the code they're doing, right? No, he has no personal project even in Rust. No, right? But you're telling me he is a Rust is a Linux kernel developer. Yeah, I. I I, I, just this media, just fake news, right? Just, just so fake, right? Just so the the, the media is so fake. The, the Western media in general is so fake, right? Just fake, just fake news, right? Of course, he that's just them blaming, blaming, blaming. He even blaming China, right? He he blamed China, right? He blamed C plus uh, plus violates human rights, right? Human rights. Uh, human rights. Let's go back here. I want to see the Uyghurs here, or Tibet here. Okay. They're saying Apple says. Apple says. Uh, no, Apple says. Okay. Maybe that's true. Okay. I, I, I believe. I, I, wouldn't be, I believe tr it's probably true for any government. Right? Not just China. Probably. You know, we, we know that even like inter Internal Blue. Who created Internal Blue? The NSA, right? It's the weapons created by NSA, then they exploited by by attackers, right? NSA is, uh, takes part of responsibility. Now they're saying it's all Chinese fault. It's just because they use it to oppress, human rights. Okay? This part is even worse. Okay, first, to University of Toronto. Ah, uh, you know that university is just sending dead people money. Okay, just you know. In the in Chinese New New Year, you know, just the, the, it's exactly this university dot Let's see how bad this university is. Okay. This is a bad university. You know. this is a very bad university. Now, this thing I don't care about whether they're gonna. Of course, they're gonna blame China for Tibet or whatever. I don't care. But let's just go the hand apart. Okay. I, I if I remember correctly, no. Tencent, okay, Tencent, okay, it's quite funny. They are saying Chinese government is attacking the, them for security vulnerability, attacking human oppressed human rights, but a lot of security vulnerability, even in their own own reference, they are saying is reported by Chinese security researchers, right? Right, you know the three, 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 six. Right, it's it's part it's right. It's a Chinese company, right? Tencent is not not a Chinese company. You can even see it's just basically a Chinese uh, pinyin, right? It's just a Chinese company. Chinese companies are doing that, right? The, <laughs> it's quite funny. They are saying China is doing that, but the Tencent, which is a Chinese company, are are, are trying to fix those bugs. Reporting a fix of spot. It's 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 ridiculous, right? Right? It's it's ridiculous. You know, it, it, they're just blaming China for everything right now. Even this has nothing to do with China for anything, right? So 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 so, so they're just blaming the lie, just blaming the lie. And he, he he himself. Okay, let's go back to his part. He said he's worked for the government. Okay. He worked for the government. Now here saying he is a Linux kernel developer. Now, he, even he himself doesn't say he's a Linux kernel developer. But he, he are the advocates. He said, hey, Alice Gainer is a Linux kernel developer. I don't understand. You know, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. I, I think, particularly at this, at this stage, I don't even. I I I think there's a very high chance. Line Rust for Linux project, is over. Maybe it's not over, right? But at this point, it's basically over. It is far from get merged into kernel. They don't even know how to merge into kernel, and 
they told us even before 6.113, whatever, a very old version with it. Now it's 6.517. 6, 6, 5, 5, 5. It's been on a, basically two years. I think we have heard about that for basically two years. But <laughs> it's still far from getting merged in the kernel. It's still far from doing that. Even get merged, it's going to still write driver things. <laughs> Nobody knows whether you even get serious or used. They say they will. Right? They basically advocate. Everything they did, just advocating, repeating the same lies over, 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 and over again. So uh, I'll stop streaming, and if you have questions, you can put comment sections here. And I, I hope you learned something. And I, I just find, find it's quite ridiculous now. They, it starts from blaming Java to blaming C and C++ to create fake news to say, say Alex Skinner and all these people are Linux kernel developers. Let's start blaming China. Then go back. Then go back to blaming other. Bring everything right. This is what they did, right? Even even China helped them fix those bugs, right? The Chinese company helped them fix bugs. They think still think, hey, China is doing that thing. China is doing her to attack them. <laughs> Funny, you know. It's quite funny. Huh. So, <sighs> Ross is a cult. You know, it's, it's just basically a cult at this point. I would just say Ross is a cult, particularly the language developers. Probably every user is not like toxic, but the language developer is very bad, very terrible. It's horrible. Okay, that's